The Calvert County, Maryland Commissioner's Reports is a headline news podcast provided in part by the Communications and Media Relations Division. Commissioner's Reports is a summary of the agenda and outcomes of regular Calvert County Board of County Commissioners meetings, as well as related public information and events. Hello, and welcome to Commissioner's Reports. I'm your host, Kevin G. Schmidt. In this week's Calvert County Board of County Commissioners meeting, Proclamations. Agriculture Awareness Day Recognition. For 50 years, National Ag Day has encouraged citizens to understand agriculture's permanent and steadfast role in society by observing the contributions of agriculture in our everyday lives, recognizing how food and fiber products are produced, and realizing the essential function of the agriculture, food, and fiber industries in maintaining a strong economy. Calvert County farm families are stewards of more than 25,000 acres of farmland, contributing to the health, beauty, productivity, and quality of our state's water, soil, wildlife, and forest resources for the benefit of all. Calvert County is committed to maintaining its robust rural heritage and keeping the county agricultural industry strong, diverse, and sustainable while meeting consumer demand for local, healthy food, and experience-based opportunities. The BOCC proclaimed March 21st, 2023, be known as Agriculture Appreciation Day in Calvert County. Molly Sampson, recognition. On Christmas Day, 2022, Molly Sampson made an incredible discovery of a large megalodon tooth in the waters of the Chesapeake Bay beneath the cliffs. This remarkable find has brought joy and excitement to not only Molly and her family, but has also gone viral globally after being posted on the social media accounts of the Calvert Marine Museum. The Miocene epic sediments comprising Calvert Cliffs preserve one of the most diverse and abundant fossil resources along the Atlantic coastal plain. It is the mission of the Department of Paleontology at the Calvert Marine Museum in Solomons, Maryland to collect, preserve, and interpret this world-famous and scientifically important resource. The BOCC thanks the Sampson family for their enthusiasm for paleontology, which has spurred people everywhere to pursue their interests in the earth and natural sciences. Calvert Marine Museum Volunteer Appreciation Day Recognition The BOCC wish to pay tribute to the many volunteers who make the Calvert Marine Museum a great destination to learn about regional paleontology, as well as the estuary and biology and marine history of the tidal Patuxent River and adjacent Chesapeake Bay. The volunteers at Calvert Marine Museum enhance the overall experience for our visitors by assisting staff with such important tasks as serving the public as docents, staffing the museum store, answering phones, helping to care for the animals, working on exhibits, restoring boats, and assisting in the library. The Calvert Marine Museum has been a vital part of our community for many years, providing valuable educational and cultural opportunities for residents and visitors alike. The museum would not be able to fulfill its mission without the tireless efforts of its dedicated volunteers who give their time, energy, and expertise to support the museum's goals and successes. The BOCC proclaimed March 22, 2023, be known as Volunteer Recognition Day at the Calvert Marine Museum. Appointments. Robert Tetrell was appointed to the Parks and Recreation Advisory Board. James Dowell was appointed to the Agricultural Preservation Advisory Board. Consent. Department of Community Resources, FY 2024, Governor's Office of Crime Prevention, Victim and Youth Services, funding related to programs that address the needs of children, youth, and families, as identified in the Community Resources, Community Needs Assessment. Department of Public Safety, $3,500 per month lease agreement between the BOCC and Celco Partnership, doing business as Verizon Wireless for mobile wireless equipment. All consent items were adopted as presented. New Business, Department of Finance and Budget, Service Charge for Semi-Annual Real Property Tax Billing, FY 2024. The county is required to allow certain taxpayers to pay their annual real property tax bill in two installments, provided the property is their principal residence. One installment is due September 30, 2023. The other is due December 31, 2023. The county may charge a service charge on the second installment. The service charge has two components. 
One is to recoup three months of lost interest due to the delay in receiving the revenue, and the other is to cover administrative costs incurred as a result of processing two payments instead of one. This proposed fee generates approximately $5,688 for the county on an annual basis and adds about 21 cents to the second installment tax bill for the average property owner. After discussion, staff recommended and the BOCC approved the service charge rate of 0.01 0.0155% for the FY 2024 tax bill and instructed finance and budget to submit that rate to the Department of Assessments and Taxations for approval. Work Session Department of Planning and Zoning Consolidated Transportation Program Calvert Priorities for FY 2024 through FY 2029 each year, the BOCC submits transportation priority project letters to the Secretary of the Maryland Department of Transportation, MDOT. The purpose of the letter is for annual consideration to be included in the state's upcoming six-year capital transportation budget, the Consolidated Transportation Program, CTP. Calvert County Government received funding for the vital corridor improvements on MD-231 and a feasibility study for a transit transfer station. Regionally, Calvert and St. Mary's counties received $1 million from the federal omnibus funding legislation in FY 2022 for design improvements to MD4 between MD 235 and the Thomas Johnson Bridge. For the next budget cycle, FY 24 through 29, the Departments of Planning and Zoning, Public Works and Community Resources will continue to ask MDOT to support previously prioritized projects that remain underfunded or on hold. Staff recommended, and the BOCC authorized the board president to sign the Memorandum of Understanding. The next regularly scheduled meeting of the Board of County Commissioners is March 28, 2023 at 10 a.m. And other Calvert County local news. The 2023 Therapeutic Recreations Duck Race is back at the Edward T. Hall Aquatic Center. Purchase a rubber duck to race down the pool for a great cause Sunday, March 26, 2023. The race is scheduled for 3.30 to 4 p.m. All proceeds from the race will go towards the Therapeutic Recreation Scholarship Fund, which provides financial assistance to individuals with special needs to attend life-enriching therapeutic recreation programs with Parks and Recreation. Duck sponsors do not need to be present for their ducks to race. To sponsor a duck, please visit webtrack.co cal.md.us and use the following activity numbers for a $5 regular duck, activity 470661, for a $6 deluxe duck, activity 470663. The Calvert County Department of Finance and Budget held a public hearing on March 21st, 2023 at 7 p.m. in the Commissioner's Hearing Room, located at 175 Main Street, Prince Frederick, Maryland, 20678, to present and receive comments on the FY 2024 staff recommended operating and capital improvement budget. Staff is reworking the budget based on BOCC feedback and will then present the FY 24 Commissioner's Operating and Capital Improvement Budget at public hearing for final community input in May. That concludes our broadcast. The Calvert County, Maryland Commissioner's Reports is a headline news podcast. Stay current with other news in Calvert County by following and liking the Calvert County Government's Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Calvert County MD, on Instagram at Calvert Broadcast, on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash Calvert County Gov, and our official website, www dot calvertcountymd dot gov. Thank you.